lot of <coughs> topics which demands detailed discussion but for the want of time i am consolidating most of the ideas in one lecture as you may all remember when we started the <coughs> journey of information system we told ourselves that information systems at least in this course for us is largely directed towards how to improve business in a sense we are discussing information systems in a context where we are answering one primary question how can it help improve business that is a question we are asking so one of the answers that we provided is have an integrated information system within the organization because modern organizations are knowledge based organizations the more you are able to control information within your organization the better it will be to run the organization that is what the basic idea behind this course so how to organize information through information system therefore we have given so much importance to various types of information system. so if you observe there is a thread which is invisible which has sticks all these independent topics together we have seen one aspect of how information systems can help business in the last lecture we have seen a way to organize information systems in a more meaningful manner we said organization should have a transaction processing system meaning something which takes care of everyday operations of an organization if you are talking about a shop the transaction processing is that system which will control the flow of information from start to end that is when customer comes in how we and we buy something how will you capture the data and how will you make sense of it this cycle should be captured by transaction process the payment of it and everything now a shop cannot exist in isolation it needs supplies the system which manages this we call it as supply chain management and the system which helps the organization to link to the customers we call it customer relationship management so in the nutshell tps scm and cr will form the heart of information systems of an organization which will do nothing but take care about the everyday running of a company everyday operations of the company we said this is not sufficient if you are thinking that you will run your business on a day to day basis then you are losing something running a business needs planning running a business requires formulating a strategy how will you do that and how can information systems help you do that is what is the focus of this if you recall we had said very clearly the outset of our discussion that we are very clear that the management structure of present organization happens at three levels the general generalization of any scenario for example if you take educational institutions there is three level of decision making one at the department level 